So did you know that like in August and September, it rains almost every day here from two to four? Yeah, we've spent a couple days trying to be able to get the Lake Nona area and show you what's coming to this area, but we can't get a good clean shot because it keeps raining. Well, today I'm probably going to go back to the office and show you all of the different areas that make up Lake Nona and what's actually coming to the area. It's 17 square miles of some of the coolest real estate that we have in Orlando. Stay tuned. All right, so now that I'm back and I'm dried off, let's talk more about the Lake Nona area because many people reach out to us and they say, I can't afford the Lake Nona area. Where else should I live, right? Because I've got a half million dollar budget or a $600,000 budget. Well, the crazy thing is Lake Nona proper really ranges from the 400s all the way up to the seven, eight, nine million dollar range. And so there's lots of real estate options. And so in today's video, we're gonna walk through five or six, maybe seven different neighborhoods and what they have to offer so that you know what your options are. All right, so we won't go exactly Exactly like in order here, but let's start all the way at the top of the price point because that's some fun real estate to take a look at. Lake Nona Golf and Country Club is one of the most exclusive addresses in all of Central Florida. It's man-gated, and if you are in either the social or the golf club, you have a lot of different amenities at your disposal. They've got pickleball, they've got tennis, they've got pools, they've got the clubhouse. There's obviously an amazing, amazing golf course there, lake access, and just an amazing location that you're not too far away from the airport, and yet you you can't hear the airplanes flying in based on where it's at located in Orlando. And so it's a really cool place that has really taken on a lot of eyeballs and attention over the past two years. Rewind just maybe a couple years ago and there were not as many high, high, high end sales as there are today through the pandemic and really as Lake Nona has matured as people from Disney and all over like the defense industry are coming to the area, we're seeing prices in Lake Nona Golf and Country Club really explode all the way from really the $2 million range or so all the way up to the six, seven, eight million dollar range, depending on their view, their size, and that sort of thing. Home construction really there started in the late 90s. And so you do have some homes that were built in the late 90s, mid 2000s that have been remodeled, but you still have some new construction going on today as well. And so depending on your budget and really your demands, Lake Nona Golf and Country Club probably has something for you. All right, so let's talk about the most popular area of Lake Nona, which is Laureate Park and Laureate Park 2. And if you've ever heard anything about Lake Nona, you've probably seen homes in this area. And this is why most people kind of get tunnel vision on what Lake Nona actually is. Laureate Park's fantastic. My wife and I, we own an investment property, the townhome there. It's great. You've got UCF Medical School, Nemours, you've got SimCon, you've got uh, KPMG. There's a lot of like jobs right there in the area that are feeders for this neighborhood. And the cool thing about it is you've got townhomes that are, you know, 1800 square feet all the way up to really estate size homes backed in the gated section in the four to 5,000 square foot range and everything in between. The neighborhood was built out by over eight different builders, Ashton Woods, Taylor Morrison, Craft Homes, Dream Finders, David Weekly. There's a lot of different ones that have built there. And the reason why I love that is there's so many stylistically different homes there. While they all have sort of a design pattern that they have to stick after, it's a really cool different area of Orlando instead of sort of the brown box neighborhoods that we see everywhere else. And because of that. It's one of the reasons I love Laureate Park. Let's talk about a third neighborhood that's really underappreciated, I think, for the location and the price point, and that's Village Walk. Village Walk was developed between 2005 and 2015 or so, and so you have a little wide variety of finishes and styles. One of the styles there that's actually super affordable, you can get it in the high 300s or mid 400s, depending on finishes, but they've got these villas there that essentially are, you got one house and another house adjoined by one wall. And so it's not like a townhome with a row of houses, but just two of them. And I think that's great because it's lock and go with great views at a great price point. The neighborhood itself has lots of different houses all the way up to, you know, three, 4,000 square foot single family homes up to a million dollars. So you've got a wide range in the neighborhood. Amenities include it's man gated. You've got tennis, multiple pools, 24 hour fitness, and there's just a lot of things for the location. And if you're into the schools and that's really important to you, it's got Lake Nona High School, Lake Nona Middle and Laureate Park Elementary, at least as of today, there's always new schools getting built. So make sure you check back. 
So what if you're looking for gated, but you don't really have the price point to get into Lake Nona Golf and Country Club? Well, Laurel Pint might be an option for you. That's actually by Toll Brothers, and it's currently under construction. It's a smaller enclave right off of Narcusi and Luminary Boulevard, and that Luminary Road is going to eventually get connected out. But you've got a gated neighborhood with really two different product types from Toll Brothers. You've got sort of their cottage-style 3,000-square-foot house all the way up to the four 5,000-square-foot homes. And those are going to range anywhere from like the low end of 1.3 million all the way up to 2 million plus at this point. They do a lottery and they do have some lots available, but depending on when you're watching this, it may be sold out just like the shores over at Lake Whipper Whipper Will. Whip Whip Poor Will. Whipper Will. Anyways, um, they've got some other properties that they just sold down the road, down Narcusi, that sold out very quickly. And you've got Lakefront over there as well. But Toll Brothers, those two neighborhoods are a great product option. If you're kind of in that $2 million or less price point, you want to be a part of everything going on like Nona, and you want new construction that's also gated, that's for you. So the fifth area that I want to talk about is the Isle of Lake Nona by Pulte Homes. And one of the many reasons to love this place is that you do have a large variety of homestyle choices in regards to price point and stylistically. You have townhomes that range from the four to 500 range all the way up to homes from the 700 to 1.3, 1.4 million dollar range. And there's lots to love about this neighborhood. You've got gated amenity, you've got sort of the pool, clubhouse, there's the bonfire, splash pad, things for the kids to see and do. There's ponds all through the neighborhood, so it's really beautiful. And right outside of the gate is everything going on on the Narcusi Strip. So lots of shops, plenty of kind of your creature comforts that you're going to look for on a day-to-day -day basis, all within 10 minutes of the town center over at Lake Nona. And so if you're looking for that mid-range in regards to price point community, Isle of Lake Nona is for you. All right, one of the last communities we're gonna talk about is Summerdale Park by Craft Homes slash Dreamfinders. Last year, Dreamfinders bought Craft Homes, so you'll see a lot of them on the same billboards as they transition over. But if you're looking for new construction in the Lake Nona area from the 500s up to million dollar range, Summerdale Park is a great option for you. It took a while for them to get this neighborhood up and going. They did pre-sales for a long time. They sold like 60, 70 houses, and then nothing happened to the neighborhood for like six months while they were getting through permitting and developing. But now that it's finally rolling, it's a fantastic option for our buyers that are looking in this area, especially for the price point and what you get for your money. One thing to remember is that it is basically the farthest south that you can go in Orlando in the Lake Nona area. Right as you cross over Boggy Creek, it becomes Kissimmee. And so as that area develops with new roads and new things coming up and down Narcusi, I think this is a great play for somebody that's looking to kind of buy towards the future of the area with Sunbridge and everything else kind of interconnecting and joining up Lake Nona and Sunbridge. And so, um, yeah, I think it's a great option if you're looking for new construction under a million in Lake Nona. All right, so that's the majority of the neighborhoods in the Lake Nona proper area. And I know down in the comments below, people will be like, well, what about Nona Crest or Eagle Creek, which is right across Narcusi and technically outside of the Lake Nona area proper. You've got a lot of things up and down Narcusi and in Orlando that will say that they're part of Lake Nona, but are essentially Lake Nona adjacent. You can save some money there, but it's not technically part of Lake Nona. Even though they share some schools, it can be a little confusing. And so if you're looking to buy or sell a house anywhere in Central Florida, my team and I, we'd love to be your real estate resource of choice and help you along the way. So reach out info at positgroup.com and we'll see you guys on the next video.